everyone. Hello. We are testing the fading to black. And you know what? It's working great. Things are just running like a, a well-oiled machine over here. Just smooth as silk. Uh, do you guys remember chocolate silk? That was a thing I had. It was like before Nutella became hugely popular in the U.S. It was this thing called chocolate silk. And instead of it being like a chocolatey hazelnut spread, it was more of a chocolatey peanut butter spread. And we would use that and have just more peanut butter and then also like marshmallow fluff. And it was good as hell. I'm sure it was terrible for us, but man, it was good. I miss chocolate silk. Man, that stuff was good. It's been a couple summers in Ohio and a few foods always take me back. And chocolate silk's one of them. That and squirt soda, one of my favorites. It's, it's grapefruit, it's really delicious. Anyway, huh, it's Wednesday, we're doing it. Snow day, it's snowing like pretty much everywhere, so. Why don't we, uh, why don't we get this bad boy started and do a run, huh? What do you say? What do you say? All right, gonna fade it to black. Hey, folks. How you doing? Settle in. Get cozy. I'm gonna do a little pre-show first and hang out before we beat a video game. That's what I like to do. I call it the pre-show. Joined by Dan. I like beating video games. I like beating video games. I like uh, accomplishments. Mm -hmm. I like victory. You know, victory. Yeah. I like uh, checking things off a list. Mm -hmm. You know, put one, put it away, put it to bed. Have you never beat Altered Beast? Who cares? You probably game genie did. <laughs> I game genie did. I didn't have a Genesis. Oh, okay. So right. uh, you didn't have a Genesis or a PlayStation. What no. kind of life have you had? A Nintendo life. Uh, I mean, hey. Hey, preaching uh, the choir here about yeah. that. I got you got to have it all. I got Genesis way later. Okay. Um, when they started having the, the CDX, CD, what? Sega CD, Sega CD, yeah, and when it came to the one that's attached to it, mm -hmm. yeah. So I, I got it not that part. The Sega CD went to the side. The 32X yeah. went up top. Yeah, I yeah. got like a bundle with all. I think my little brother might have gotten it. So okay, that's where I got in. Uh, there's not really any good Genesis games. That's not true. There's that just, was the best version of Mortal Kombat. So you got to have that. Uh, my best friend growing up also had a Genesis. Okay. So that gotcha. worked. I had a Super Nintendo. He had a Genesis. I felt that I would be missing out greatly on life's greatest pleasures if I didn't have every console. So I mowed the hell out of some lawns. Mm. I traded the hell in on some video games. Mm. All my old consoles. I had to have the newest and best, except for uh, How PC. How old were you when a Genesis came out? Uh, I was uh, six or seven. <laughs> that's, that's, that one that's I probably a... got for Christmas. <laughs> Actually, the Super Nintendo I did as well. Six-year-old mowing lawns. The 16-bit. That was all me. That kid's real industrious. <laughs> <laughs> Put a six-year-old on a lawnmower. Yeah, those are probably, yeah. There was uh, a, listen, I, my kid's about six. He can maybe push that thing around. I would... <laughs> There, there was an old uh, Chiefs, Kansas City Chiefs wide receiver that used to come into uh, the macaroni grill or Chili's that my mom worked at, and she was friends with him, and so I used to mow his lawn all the time. Uh -oh. And so uh, thanks, uh, Sean LaChapelle, for giving me the money uh -huh. to buy uh, I bet a lot of snow shoveling, too, over there. Really? Uh, I, never, I never shoveled snow. No, really? Mm -mm. Anybody, never did that. You didn't really. get a lot of snow out in Kansas? That was not really my jurisdiction. Oh, okay. I was I was the lawn mower. Okay. I was the chores guy. Yeah, right. um, yeah. yeah. yeah well, shoveling I was snow is not a, a chore? newspaper route. Oh, I always wanted to do that. I, yeah. I never knew how to get it. I don't that. think you can get those anymore. No? I think they're mostly for adults because you have to deliver the paper before like eight. Okay. That's um, called being uh, on the Geek Squad and plugging in an Ethernet cable now so people can get their news that way. Oh. People don't news, read newspapers I see. anymore. It's like a commentary on, on news. Yeah, actually. yeah. Uh, speaking of snow, it's supposed to snow here. My kids got, last night I got a call at like eight or nine o'clock, the half day of school today. Oh, yeah? Really puts a wrinkle in things. So- Having never experienced this before, and actually just now hearing about the snow thing, yeah. I'm trying to picture, okay, let's say I have two kids at home, yeah, so you have and two I kids. just get that call. You get that call. Okay, my wife works. Yep. I work. Yep. I guess I never thought of the part of parenthood where it's like, oh, that means you got to figure some shit you out. Gotta you got to get home out, yeah. because you're the caregiver. Uh, you, you're Sitters the... could work, have other stuff going on. Uh, if you have they're a not high on school call. Kids. No, right, they're not on. It's not like yeah. a lawyer you have on retainer. Are there daycares that you can call that they'll like send a van to your school, kid's school, and they'll pick them up and take them to the daycare and be like, hey, yeah, we got them until five. Well, usually, when... if, this, if it's a snow day, it's because the roads are bad. So. Oh right. Yeah. Are there daycares that specialize in like, hey, we got snow vehicles <laughs> like ready to? Go. Yeah, we're gonna send a snowmobile to the school, pick up the kid, you bring know, him back here. They're gonna be sitting should, on carpet should, squares. We should stop this podcast because we we've got a million. Oh, we didn't say this yeah. live. No, we, no, we got an idea. We just got like big old like uh, those things in like the thing or whatever, like the, the big treads <laughs> yes. and stuff. Yeah, exactly. And then like you a take snow him cat and just comes through. Yeah, and then you take it to a place that's got the best uh, carpet squares and lunchables in the business. Oh, gross. Okay. What? 
Lunchables are disgusting. Oh, you're uh, I'll wrong. happily eat you're a Lunchable so for lunch right wrong. now. Wait, sorry, I can't hear you. I uh, mean, I why can't you hear me? I can't, I can't Lunchables hear Lunchables are so good. Oh, yes, so good. They're incredible. They're uh, still great. Yes. Oh, it's like a salt. Primo. So I why love can't y'all hear me? I'll eat yeah. salt. Is this better? Just right yeah, out of the yeah, 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 yeah. much better. Okay. Uh, I, uh, I will eat salt straight from the... I'll, I'll fight a horse for a salt lick. Wow. But Lunchables is just like the worst deli meat on like a stale cracker. Yeah. yeah. Not to diverge here, but um, have you ever licked an actual salt lick? No. Not bad. <laughs> what? I mean, I've, I've, I've had salt. Is uh, it different? It was just, it's just like a lot of salt at once. Oh, okay. Is it just yeah. you're liking the like leftover saliva from the horses? Is that what you're enjoying about it? Oh, I didn't it? know salt licks were for horses too. My grandpa had them in the backyard for uh, deer. Oh, okay. sure. Yeah, I mean, I think Wait, just... for the like to entertain the deer, for the deer's fun? I don't know what my grandpa's intentions were, but <laughs> <laughs> he's dead. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe Can't it was just him. so he could have deer in his yard and look at them. He did like seeing deer in his yeah, yard so quite a bit. Yeah, that's probably why. It's, I bet it's like a bird feeder type thing. Yeah, uh, that yeah. might be it. Makes he had come. that too, and he, he hated squirrels because they ate all the bird feed. And so we had to get all sorts of elaborate contraptions to keep the squirrels out. Squirrels. But long story short... Yeah. Salt licks are all right. I would get one for myself and just keep it here on the desk in case, like, you know, on the podcast, if yeah. there's a part I'm not talking, I can just uh, go to town on a salt lick. Salt, salt lick. Mm-hmm. That's, hey. All listen. right. We'll get a bridle for you. Just have I a, don't know what that is. Thing that goes across your, the horse's mouth. Oh, is that, you can just eat, like. We got a feed bag. Wait, so is that, salt? like, you know how, like, Bob Dylan would have his harmonica on the yeah. thing so he could have his hands free? Is a bridle, <laughs> like, I could just put a bunch of snacks in there, like a bunch of Lunchables? That's more like thing. a feed bag, I think. But oh, like, okay. Um, What's a bridle? A uh, bridle is the thing that's that like holds. That's like the bit, right? Yeah. It's they, like the thing that goes along the side of the horse. For what? The like, bit, for the that eyes? Holds the bit. What's the bit do? The thing that they chomp on? It's Why like they, they bite on? it. That's how you can like steer them. It's, it's, oh, it's when you've the got the harmonica. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's the horse's harmonica. The horse but the harmonica is yeah. like halfway in its mouth. Okay. Or like totally in its mouth. Okay. I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm 25 percent correct on most of that. Hey, stuff. I'm 25 percent smarter now. Thanks. Yeah, so you got it. <laughs> well, speaking of turning into animals. Yeah. And and. <laughs> nice. <laughs> we're gonna get started uh, with uh, the run. Everything sound good over there, Abby? Sounds good. All right. Here we go. Let's, okay. Uh, let's kick it off. All right.